Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Public Coin, and today I have one special coin to show to you. And um, I'm about to blow your mind. All right, well, maybe not, but this coin, which looks a little bit like a nickel, a shield nickel, is actually a pattern. Uh, this coin is not struck in nickel. This coin is actually struck in copper, and it is in person really stunning, really stunning. And so we're going to talk a little bit about patterns in this video, and we'll get back to the coin in just a second. This was my favorite book when I first started at the coin shop. Um, United States Pattern Experimental and Trial Pieces um, by... Uh, J. Hewitt Judd. So the reference Judd that you're going to see on the coin here, this J, that is all patterns are referenced by the Judd book. Now this is an older edition, the sixth edition. Uh, I looked on eBay and they were all over the place. You could buy them. Somebody wanted $200 and other people wanted, you know, 20 bucks. So an old one is fine to get because the reason I used to love looking at this as a kid, I'm still a kid, I know, was because you would just go through it and you'd see all these things that in reality exist, but also kind of never existed, right? And you'd see things that look normal, like this became a normal looking coin eventually. Uh, it tells you who the designer was um, and what the design was. But oftentimes they'll be struck in an off metal or they'd be a different size. Um, you have some that were made of, of materials that just don't exist. Things called goloid. And then they tell you what the different metals were that were the compound that it was made out of. You get these coins that have one design that you're familiar with and something else that you're not. And it's just a fun fun book just to look through and kind of dream about. For those of you who just want to have, see the Stellas are in here, that's the $4 gold piece, they're considered patterns. Um, for those of you who uh, want to have, um, want to have just one of these, there's actually, you actually have the ability to find patterns that are in lower grade, maybe at proof 60, you know, uh, the more common types for a couple thousand bucks, um, which is a lot of money. I get that. But, you know, when you think about what you spend on stuff nowadays, um, it's really, I think, something that most of your collecting friends wouldn't have that you can afford. So the book is set up uh, chronologically. So you'll see it by year. Um, so you have to go through by year. And so this coin here is... Uh, 1867. It actually does not have it pictured in the book. Uh, the 573 is the number here. And they have a 573A which has a mule. It has a different reverse to it and that one's really very scarce. Now what's interesting when you go and look at these coins to try to figure out a value, you know, you can look at, well price guys I don't think help because they trade so infrequently. So you can go to different auctions and auction results, both NGC and PCGS now on their website, when you look at pop reports, start to show you know auction results for a coin. And then what's cool is you can start to look and see, uh, from what I can tell from NGC and PCGS's uh, pop reports, there's about 20, oh, 25, 26, 27 of these. I'm guessing there's more than that, so call it, you know, Annex has some, so maybe there's 30 to 40 pieces total. Um, but then you start talking about finest known because, you know, there is, I know uh, PCGS has one graded a 65 Cameo Red, which is probably the nicest known. This one's called Brown, but as we've talked about before, you know, a coin... Uh, value is not always determined solely on uh, the grade, you know, the eye appeal. So if you had the red coin and you had this coin next to each other, which one would you choose? And a lot of you would pick the red and I understand that. There's a real high value in having 
the only red one of the only red ones known. I think there's only a couple red ones known. But you know, this this coin when I looked at auction results and I looked at images is clearly superior to um, the coins around it. And the other thing that's difficult is to find a price on these because you will only see them trade um, once in a while at auction. And it looks like a lot of them haven't traded since 2010. Uh, so you, you might not see the coin trade for a decade. I'm taking the 20 power loop now to get a good close up at the strike quality on this coin, just how strong those lines are there. So the question is then how do you value the coin? And the reality is it doesn't have a set value. You can send it to auction and be disappointed. You could send it to auction and be really pleased. Um, this to me is a coin that I'm probably going to go ahead and try to cross over. And here's why I'm going to send it to PCGS for crossover in the holder. I think it'll come back a five. I'm hoping that they will give it a cameo. Uh, I know with this type of toning, it's kind of hard to get a cameo on something, but you can see as the light goes over it, the reflectivity of the coin is very strong. Um, and it has kind of a nice cameo look. Uh, it's hard to say an exact value. The last time that 65 red sold, it was north of $8,000. Um, a lot of average, I will say average coins of this type, I saw sell in the two to $3,000 range. Um, this is a coin that I'm guessing that after I get it certified, if, uh, if I send it to PCGS, I should say, I may try to sell it here, but it's the type of coin I'll probably put in an auction. And if I do, I'll let you know, and we can talk about how it did down the road. But, uh, I mean, I'm guessing that this would trade for six, six to 7,000 at an auction. That's my guess. That's what I think. So anyways, I wanted to share that with you guys. And if you uh, subscribe and hit notifications, you'll be along for the journey and you can watch to see how this coin uh, comes out over time because we'll take a closer look at it after we send it into uh, PC Chess for a crossover. So thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.